uh, with her business card. I thought, I don't know. Okay. Hey, we're good. We're good. We're, we're going. good. We're all right. right. Scott Fraser here with the T-shirt report, and my good friend Greg Kitson. And uh, it's always good to see you. Good to see you. Hard to hear you because you have that voice. You, I can. I heard you doing a seminar yesterday. You were like there, and they were all, you know, just we're, every word. They were we're there. we're in the garment zone, and we had really good attendance for all of the classes. So. I'm really impressed, though. They have that good attendance down there. That's really great. I mean, because you walk the show, and of course, you get away from our little comfort zone. And what is it? Digital, 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 digital. But I think people that complain about this show that that say uh, all it's all digital, they, they come here and they can talk to Mark or you or me or anybody in lawn and see stuff being done and get one on one and focus on what's here. You know. Oh yeah, the the garment zone is something that came out of the SGIA committee structure when we were trying to set up and and and. As full disclosure, I'm an SGIA member, have been for 30 years. I sit on the garment committee. I actually chair the garment committee, and I'm on the membership committee. And what we wanted to do was put together programming for people that attended the show because we're, the SGIA was very much aware of the perception that this is no longer a T-shirt show. Yeah, they show. were getting a bad rap, I think, yeah. for quite a while. I mean, it never was a T-shirt show, but as digital became more pronounced, there was a change in the focus or the appearance of the focus, especially when you walk right onto the floor and the huge displays of the big digital players. And you go, where are the T-shirt vendors? Although Sandmar is here, who else? Who else is here selling shirts? Just Sandmar. Yeah. That, that's that. That's it. Huh? But still, well, this is a, start, a technology that's show. That's a start, though. This, this is, is a technology, technology show. show. There's no doubt about it. Although, where are the ink guys? The ink guys used to be there'd be the big Rutland booth slash Union, and now that's kind of all. Well, I'm pretty sure all of the ink guys are hiding in the back corner of their distributors' booths Definitely or so. in the party rooms. Yeah, you got the tube lights showing Union probably and things yeah. like that. So what are you doing here? You're doing a number of seminars. You did, you're doing a bunch of free stuff. Well, I zone. came in on Monday afternoon and spent Tuesday judging. I love the judging aspect of SGIA because it's like home, old home week. Uh, the people that I've known for years, I get a chance to spend some time with them, and then we get to see the best of the best. Now, one of the things that I've noticed in my customers over the past 10 years has been a bit of a good enough scenario with artwork and what we're printing. Um, a lot of the customers would prefer to have many choices and lots of garments rather than one or two that were exceptionally well done. And that's the way they're paying for it. So when I get a chance to see very well execu executed screen printing mm -hmm. that I know has a lot to do with screen making that's done right. The yeah. inks that are chosen yeah. right, yeah. that are separated correctly, that are printed in the right order. That's like a kid in a candy store for me. Did you go to my seminar just now? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. It was it was called High End Printing Made Easy. How did, you know, I, to me, I'm with you. A good set of steps, the right ink, good screen making, it's easy if you just follow All the, the pieces, rules. All yeah. the pieces are in place. You follow the rules. But you're right. Although I think with the entries down this year, I'm not banging on them, by the entries way. Entries you know, were down, yeah. Down. And... And, and that's something that we will talk about at, in the committees for SGIA is how to get some more promotion in there and, and how to let people know what to do with their awards once they win. Yeah. Because rather than just hanging the plaque on the side wall in their office, they need to take advantage of social media opportunities and take advantage of the webcasts and all of those types of things that they can do that says they're the best of the best, that they know what they're doing. But and do you think I, they're afraid of competing with, like, the Andy Andersons and, and, and all the high-density stuff that comes over? That you, I mean, I'm thinking an, an average printer needs to know that, hey, he needs to get involved. Well, and, and that's just the thing, that we see the best of the best. And I am of the opinion that this is a technical printing contest, that if somebody would execute a simple one-color Nike logo, and I probably shouldn't use somebody's name, but a very simple logo, and it was executed very well, as a technical printing contest, they would have every bit as much of a chance of winning. Yeah. Because this isn't about marketing. This isn't about artwork. This isn't about design. This is about execution. I'm looking for registration. I'm looking for sharp edges. I'm looking for no sawtoothing. I'm looking for screen printing done well yeah. and that type of thing. So anybody could do that. Our company won three years of Golden Image, actually Golden Squeegee at the time, awards. Well, now you're dating yourself for sure. Yeah, yeah, many years ago. And we haven't even taken the time. Since I started judging, I don't submit anymore. Yeah. But we got out of the habit of sending the registrations in 
just because we got out of the habit of doing it. So how do you nudge people to do it, though? Because I'm with you. I have been I promote it on my mailings, but how do you get the average guy to go, yeah, I should do that? Because I think SGA does a good job, but I think maybe they still, maybe there's a perception still. I'm not sure what it is. Well, and, and, and I don't know what that answer is. If somebody would have that answer, uh, email it to me. My email is greg at mindsig.com. And again, Michael is furiously writing this down to add it to the uh, Krylon or whatever they call it. <laughs> You've got answers? He has answers. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. The answers, so. That type of thing. But anything that you can do, because when you win, when you're the best of the best in a category, you need to be able to let your customers know oh my God, yeah. that. It's so very important. And you enter the, see, I always told people, you enter the least entered categories. Now, special effects used to be an easy one, but now it's got all the high density, and this year they had the guitar strings. and that, that's Oh, the a, guitar strings that's were amazing. One. But you got to find... You know, they used to have a jacket category, didn't they? I don't I don't think they still Oh, have. were we talking satin jackets? Yeah, we're talking a long time International ago. Coatings 900 I want a golden, Series I inks. want a golden squeegee for, for a jacket. I mean, a golden talking, squeegee. A golden squeegee, probably 25 years ago. But I used to tell my students, enter the, the least... If you entered, like, a simulated process on black shirts... You're going to be up against the Andy Andersons and and the high-end guys, and it's going to be tough. Yeah, but and, and picking that category that doesn't have a lot of entries is a good one. But as far as winning and being able to brag about this type of stuff, remember what I call the 50-mile rule. Anytime you're 50 miles away from home and somebody says you're an expert, you're an expert. So if you go to an... Is there a book titled that? You should write that book, don't you if, think? If you go to an international exhibition of the Specialty Graphics Imaging Association and you win even an honorable mention, that means you're among the best of the best. You need to be yeah. able to tell people about that. brag about it, for sure. Yeah, and with as much bottom feeding and price competition that we have in our industry, those people that are able to maintain a high technical standard need to let their customers know about that. Yeah. So it's just very strong. So how's your business now? We haven't talked much about what your what your business is doing. I mean, I know what you do, but, but well, I, I'm a contract screen printer. We're located in northeastern Indiana, and I'm that middleman that everybody hears about. Uh, and we chose that niche many years ago when we didn't have a strong sales presence. And I said the same thing a lot of contract printers do. I don't want to deal with people. I just want to print. And we found out that we were very good at printing and the logistics of printing. Uh, and that's the reality of contract decoration is we spend most of our time with the logistics, figuring out what we're going to do, making sure the screens are ready, making sure the inks are mixed and in stock and right, and that everything was shipped correctly. And then we stop for a very small portion of the time and we print. <laughs> and then we're back in the logistics business. That's yeah, what we do. Printing. It's just The printing is one little part of the whole process. Well, it, it is. Uh, and, and there's a certain assumption that we know what we're doing in that respect. But... As much as it is an art and a craft, it's still a technical process. Mm -hmm. And it's more of a technical process today than it ever has been and makes it very repeatable. Definitely. I think, yeah, repeatable is a good word. Now, you're teaching a uh, – and I, I know we're here at SGIA, but you're doing a – what's, what's the, the seminars at ISS? Master Decorator? Master Decorator Series is uh, a, a series of seminars at – the Imprinted Sportswear Shows, and the Imprinted Sportswear Shows is a sister project of Impressions Magazine. Right. So, so are they startups? I mean, I mean, are the the seminars for startups, or is it take them? They have to be at a certain level first before they would take it. It has evolved when it started. Uh, the Imprinted Sportswear Shows at one time did what they called the Startup Decorator Series. Yes. And it, and yeah. it recognized the fact that over half of the people that attended an Imprinted Sportswear Show were attending their first and only Imprinted Sportswear yeah. Show. And that we had a high turnover because of just mass information overload. Mm -hmm. So the Master Decorator series was created, and there were six components to it. It was artwork, because everything we do is based on artwork. People don't buy a t-shirt. They buy artwork. They buy a memory. Yeah. Nobody needs another t-shirt. It's right. just a fact of and life. If they're selling a t-shirt, they're selling the wrong thing. They're, they're selling the wrong thing. Yeah. So we start talking about artwork, and then we talk about embroidery and screen printing and sublimation and heat printing and direct-to-garment printing and the sale of all of those things. Mm -hmm. So designed for two people. Somebody who's coming to their first imprinted sportswear show 
during doing research to get into the industry. And they may come to the show thinking they want to open an embroidery business, and they may leave thinking they're going to be a sublimator yeah. or a heat printer or a screen printer. So we want to give that overview. The second focus for this seminar series is for, say, an embroidery shop owner that is successful and is getting tired of dealing with their screen printer. You know, the, you embroid the embroidery shop owner, the, the screen printer is being unrealistic. What they're doing is saying, okay, you have to have minimums. We have to have setup charges for yeah, screens. Yeah, yeah. If you want to do individual tiny toddler shirts, that's a separate set of screens. Isn't that being unreasonable? Yeah, yeah. So the embroidery shop will actually go in and try to set up their own screen printing operation. And regret it sometimes. And regret it sometimes. Yeah. But that's because they didn't make a knowledgeable decision. Yeah. So by going through the Master Decorator series, it was an experiment three years ago. And it has evolved to one of their strongest attended seminars. Yeah, it looks like series. it is. I mean, I look at the things online. Yep. It looks like it is. So, yeah. hey, our technical director is telling us that we have to uh, wrap things up. But, you know, it's always good talking to you. And tell, tell them how you got in this business. <laughs> how did I get in this business? You, you bought my book. <laughs> what book? <laughs> oh, the book. The book. The book. I have a first edition, How to Print T-Shirts for Fun and Profit. Right. That is autographed by Put that on eBay. Mr. Fresner. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for blowing smoke. <laughs> Greg, we got to run. Take care. Hey, my good friend Greg Kitson from Mind's Eye Graphics. Scott Fresner with the T-shirt report from uh, beautiful, rainy today, Atlanta, Georgia. Thanks, guys. Take care.